Welcome back. This is Yad Ali for Java Object Oriented Programming. This keyword is one of the most confusing topics for Java beginners. Let us try to understand it using some examples. First of all, what is the this keyword and why we need it? This actually is a reference to the current object. That's how we need to think about it. It's a reference to the object. The object that is being used, the one whose methods or constructors are being called. You can use this to refer to any member of the object, any attribute, any variable, or any method. Let's see some examples. Do we always need the this keyword? No. In this example, it's not needed, simply because there is no confusion. The parameters of the methods and the constructors here have different names from the instance variable radius. This is a circle class with one default constructor, another constructor that takes radius as a parameter. The name here is in, in the constructor is R. The instance variable is radius, so no confusion at all. So you can just create any object by just calling the constructor. So the value 3.5 will go to R and finally will be given to radius, which is the instance variable. No confusion and no shadowing. Similarly, you can use the default constructor and call the setRadius method with another value like 4.5. 4.5 will be sent here and it will be given to the left side instance variable radius. However, sometimes you need to use the this keyword. Most probably, for beginners at least, it's because of shadowing. So, what is shadowing? When you have a parameter name in a constructor or in a method that is exactly the same as the instance variable name if you look at the constructor here radius inside the constructor in this line we have two radius words so which one is which which is the radius with the instance variable and which one is the one that is passed by the uh, constructor caller the confusion starts here when you send 3.5 here to the constructor, there is no way for Java to differentiate the left side from the right side. You know what's going to happen? It will be the same. Java will use its own radius here in the class. Since the radius is still not initialized, the initial value, as you know, for numeric values will be zero. The result of this expression will be zero is equal to zero. So if you try to get the area of this object, you will get zero. Why? Because of shadowing, we could not differentiate the left radius from the right radius. Similarly, if you call the set radius method again with any value like here, we don't know which one is the radius and which one is the instance variable radius. So this 4.5 has the name radius and the instance variable has also the same name. So this problem, because of shadowing, there will be a confusion and the results will be error. So how to solve it? You just use the this keyword. Now the example changes. We just added one word here, this, and one word here, this. When you say this, remember this means the object itself, the current object. Like when you call the object now, circle C1 equals new circle, this means C1. C1 radius is this instance variable. So now there is a way to differentiate the left one, which is the instance variable. Why? Because we use this with it. And now radius here is the parameter of the constructor. So if you run this code, you will get the right result. Similarly, if you call the default constructor and then you try to use the set radius method here, no problem at all. The 4.5 value will be given to this radius, 
and the value of 4.5 will be given to the left hand side which is the instance variable radius so when you say this that's it this means the objects thing the objects method or the objects member or the objects variable and in this example now there is no confusion at all there is no shadowing because we use this problem solved is this the only way to use this no you can still use this with constructors here we have multiple constructors. This is called constructor overloading. One is default. Second one takes first and last name. Third one takes first, last name, and GPA. The fourth one takes first, last name, GPA, and email. In this constructor, we set the two parameters to the instance variable. Now, in the third constructor, this one, you need to either copy the same code you did in the second constructor or reuse it a professional programmer would you re reuse the code so how to call the previous constructor to reuse this code you just use the this keyword and send the parameters inside the parentheses now so since you are doing this this means i am calling a constructor then which constructor it depends on the number and types of parameters that you are sending. With this with two strings will go to this constructor, since no other constructor have the same signature. So this way you are avoid duplicating the code and reusing the code. And this is called constructor chaining. As you see here in the last constructor, we have first, last, double, and mail. No need to redo the same code we did here. Just use this again. Send the three parameters to the previous constructor. This constructor maybe was going to send it to the one before, but at least now you are not duplicating any code. So this can be used when you use overloading in constructors. It can save a lot of code, not only to avoid duplication, but sometimes this code might be very, very complex code. It should not be duplicated to more than one place. Finally, this can be used to invoke methods. If you look at this constructor here, same class, circle, I have a set radius method that does the sum validation logic. I can call it set radius radius. Now I'm sending this value here to the method. No need actually to use this. If you use it without it, it's going to work. But programmers tend to be lazy sometimes. They like this way because when they type this dot, they get a list of all the parameters and all the methods of the class. So now this set radius will call this method. Of course, here inside the set radius, you must use the this keyword to differentiate between the parameter and the variable of the instance let us see another example here i'm using radius directly inside another method which is get area i'm not referring to it using this there is only one radius in our class in the next method i'm using the get radius method but i'm also using this it's gonna work no problem makes no difference if you use this or not it makes no difference because you are referring to yourself here. You are calling this method. If you see the next method here, I'm using it without the this keyword. It works fine. So, no need for the this keyword here. But I still can use it. No need for the this keyword here, but I still can use it. But here, definitely you need one because you need to avoid the confusion. Let us look at the print circle method here. I'm calling the methods of the class. I'm using this to, use, to call all of them. Here, this helps you sometimes just to type this and press dot and get a list of all the methods to avoid typing errors. However, if you do all of them without this, they're going to work fine. So we have seen three uses for this to avoid overshadow, to avoid duplication of code 
when you use constructor overloading and to call methods and instance variables inside the class itself. There are other advanced uses of this in Java. We're going to keep them for a later tutorial.